professional students, so the medical, nursing, and pharmacy students. And so we teach, you know, lipid metabolism or, you know, carbohydrate metabolism or, or you know, some cancer biology. And then we also teach the graduate students. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's more, you know, genetics and developmental biology, mm -hmm. you know, topics of interest to the graduate students. You know. But it's not much, you know, because we don't have undergrads, then there's not much teaching. So, you know, for the professional students, I usually teach maybe 10 hours a year every, and then I teach for four years, and then I'm off for three years. For the graduate students, you know, that's more that's every year. And then we also have uh, small discussion sessions, you know, journal clubs, or, you know, like well, five, yeah, five to ten students discussing papers. Do you study chemistry all the way up to undergraduate, like all the way to the so when I was in school with Aki, I studied uh, biology and physics. That was for the IB. Okay. And then in university, I studied essentially biology. In Belgium? In Belgium first, for one year. And then yeah, I came here to uh, uh, Brandeis, the Jewish hmm. University in Boston. Uh, and um, I studied biology there. But you know, when you transfer to an American university, yeah, and you, you get a BA, you have to meet all these liberal arts requirements. So actually, you see, I didn't do much science. I didn't take many science courses when I was in university. I mainly took art and history and <laughs> <laughs> just to meet the requirements. <laughs> and then I did my PhD in uh, biochemistry and biology. Okay. But, uh, so, you know, but you can come into biological research from many different angles. You know, we have people in our graduate program from engineering from math background, physics background, chemistry background, you know, and uh, right now a big buzzword in medical sciences is interdisciplinary research. Mm -hmm. People coming from physics or math mm -hmm. and going into biology and using their quantitative expertise, you know, to create models or, you know, just to provide a little more give a little more grounding and, and uh, numbers to biological phenomena. So, yeah. I, I read, I've seen that uh, you've been uh, writing so many papers, mm -hmm. publishing so many papers, along with uh, other people. That's right, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, so the, the, the uh, motto in science, like anything else, is publish or perish. <laughs> right. And uh, so essentially, to raise money, you need to prove to the founding bodies that you are productive. Mm -hmm. And the way you can prove you're productive is by publishing papers. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, that's why we have journals, all of these old copies. Now everything is online, so we don't need to print anymore. The past two years, maybe you published about. Yeah, I mean, usually, you know, it's about uh, 10 per year. It depends how big the lab is, of course. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but uh, hard work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, most <laughs> of the work yeah, comes from uh, writing the grants mm -hmm. and then, of course, writing the papers. But, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun mentoring students and, and postdocs and, of course, you know, doing the science as well. I mean, you know, so we have group meetings. So there are about 25 people in my lab. You know, and we have group meeting every week, and you know the, the people, the students, so the postdocs who present the new data. It's very exciting because it's think, you know, new things I haven't seen before, nobody's seen before. Mm -hmm. you know, so, mm -hmm. so, and then of course it's very rewarding when you know your postdocs move on and establish their own labs and uh, you know are successful. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so many successful people came out of your lab. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's still a pretty young lab, but uh, yeah, we have good uh, reputation. Uh, uh, one Japanese postdoc in my lab right now. So there's a lot of foreign postdocs, and uh, another one coming in uh, May from, uh, I don't know if you know this, there's a very famous uh, institute in Kobe, uh, Riken Institute in Kobe, mm -hmm. and uh, um, the, the student from the head of that institute is coming. Wow. Uh, so uh, Takaishi is famous, and he's very famous in Japanese science. Mm -hmm. you know, he's, he's Close to retirement, he's still doing very nice work. I and uh, yeah, so one of his students is coming. All the brain is gathering. What's that? All the brain is gathering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have like any like, long term goals. Long term goals? Yeah. Uh, personally or scientifically? 
I personally not to get bored. <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Yeah, have fun. Enjoy your learning. That's right. Uh, scientifically, you know, I think uh, one likes to think about, you know, five years and you know, beyond. And so, what what we do scientifically is um, something called forward genetics. And so essentially, we take zebrafish and we metagenize the genome. And so we create mutations throughout the genome and then we screen for interesting mutations. So for example, if we're interested in pancreas development, we will screen for mutants with defects in pancreas. So essentially what, you know, the long term, what I'm hoping for is that we will find something in so a lot of people have taken this approach with the fly genome or the worm genome, but nobody with a vertebrate genome. So what I'm hoping is that we'll find something that is a novel, a completely unexpected and novel way of either regulating genes or regulating processes that's only found in vertebrate genomes and that the approach we're taking will take us to this, you know, major discovery. So you know, in a way, you know, it's trying to, I mean, it, science, that's what makes it, you know, part of the fun of being in science is, is right, is the, the uh, chance that you're going to run into something unexpected. Mm -hmm. So I can't really tell you, okay, well, you know, 10 years from now, I'll be doing this, so, you know, 15 years from now, because that's pretty boring, right? Mm -hmm. If you can predict where you'll be. <laughs> so, uh, you've had a pretty interesting career too, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> So I expected to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh,